new technology developments are enabling more effective wireless solutions for digital divide initiatives. In Washington, D.C., Tirana showcased a solution to U.S. government officials to get broadband where it's needed most. This first instance of NGFWA, short for Next Generation Fixed Wireless Access, is a new technology that addresses the drawbacks of traditional fixed wireless access. Existing fixed wireless approaches are based on technologies that fulfill their original purpose well. 4G, 5G for mobility, and Wi-Fi for indoor networks, but are not as successful at scalable fixed access in mainstream markets. Already deployed by a number of ISPs in the U.S., NGFWA delivers fiber class speeds, high capacity, cost efficiency, and deployments in months instead of years, even with obstructed links and interference. Increased focus on the digital divide at all levels of U.S. government, along with this innovation, have created a unique opportunity to make faster progress on America's persistent divide. At this event, Tirana set up a live three-part demo to illustrate the effectiveness of NGFWA in urban obstructed conditions. A 280-meter link was deployed in unlicensed 5 gigahertz spectrum, with the base radio on a four-story rooftop and the remote radio on street level with many obstructions, a non-line-of-sight link. To produce interference, 10 laptops and two access points running at 5 gigahertz on the same channel as the deployment link were also set up just meters away from the remote radio in the rain. In order to illustrate the benefits of two unique technologies, interference cancellation and dynamic beam forming at the remote radio, we first characterized link performance with these key technologies disabled and turned off. We start our performance measurements with heavy, unlicensed interference coming from the nearby laptops also turned off, and record a downlink throughput of approximately 200 megabits per second. The link is then made more challenging by turning on the heavy, unlicensed interference from the nearby laptops and access points, while keeping the two key NGFWA technologies turned off. Given the combined challenges of non-line-of-sight and co-channel interference, the link performance dropped to unstable levels, achieving between 25 and 50 megabits per second of downlink throughput. This is illustrative of the kinds of degradation expected to occur in these environments. The last part of the demo is where the impact of these unique technologies is shown. When enabling NGFWA interference cancellation and dynamic beam forming at the remote radio, the link is transformed from a barely usable 25 megabits per second link to a stable, high-performance connection, now achieving 450 megabits per second of downlink throughput. While fiber is an excellent solution, it's just not economically practical to deploy in some areas with challenging terrain, given the cost per mile and household. Discover how NGFWA can help U.S. government officials close the digital divide more effectively. Learn more at TorontoWireless.com.